Hi and welcome to Stella's Meza. On today's episode, I will show you how to make a dish that is traditionally found in the Kenyan coast in Tanzania and it's called Bazi, which is basically chickpeas or some people call it garbanzo beans that have been cooked as a curry and coconut uh, milk added to it. Okay, so for this, if you do not have canned access to canned uh, chickpeas, you will need three cups of chickpeas or garbanzo beans, and you will need to put them in a container, make sure that it covers the top of it, and let it sit for three hours. Okay, and then after that, take it and boil it. Put some more, put it in a medium-sized pot. Put some water in there. Let it boil down until when you press one of the peas, it feels a little bit mushy. It gives in a little. If you are lucky enough to have canned uh, garbanzo beans like I do here, I have one pound, the big can. And then uh, besides that, you will need a small onion that's been finely minced, okay? And then you will need three tablespoons of cooking oil. I use canola oil. So over here on medium heat, I'm going to turn it up a little. I have here uh, caramelizing onion and one teaspoon of minced garlic, okay? That's like two cloves that have been... Uh, peeled and minced and then to that once it starts browning like this and you make sure that the garlic is cooked all the way don't you don't want to bite into uh, raw garlic that's just gross <laughs> you want to go ahead and add half a teaspoon of turmeric turmeric is a spice that's very good it gives good food uh, a good color and flavor it's bright yellow and it has um, anti-inflammatory um, properties and it's also good for the skin like we use this for mask so that's one of my secret uh, beauty um, regimens turmeric mask okay and then to that you will add some curry powder you will add one teaspoon of curry powder I'm gonna add that in there now I add the turmeric first because it has kind of a strong taste and you want it to cook down one that tastes to cook down I'm used to it because I grew up eating food cooked with it but for those who are not who don't have that taste acquired, it might take you some time to get used to it. So just put it in first, let it cook down slow, and then keep adding the other spices. Okay? And then to that, I have here half a teaspoon of garam masala. This you can find at a grocery store in the international aisle. It'll always be there. Or if not, you can go online to any Indian website. They do have these spices ready, readily available. And then for a little bit of kick, I like to add cayenne pepper. Now, I like the kick, but I do not like to fight with my food. That way, that's why I add just half a teaspoon. If you like your food spicy, go ahead and ha add one teaspoon. Or if you're brave, one and a half. Or whatever, however hot you like your food, just go ahead and add that. So I put it in here. And you'll notice it smells so wonderful. You'll notice it's starting to kind of solidify down in there. So at this point, I'm going to add the garbanzo beans. Now, one thing you want to do is if you buy the canned... Um, garbanzo beans. You want to drain the liquid out and then just pour it in there and then give it a nice stir. Okay, give it a nice stir. And it's such a simple dish to make. Such a simple dish. Not many ingredients and it's delicious. Takes a short while to cook. And then here I have a um, pinch of salt which is equivalent to a um, quarter teaspoon of salt. Now add that now and then I'm going to taste it later to see if I need to add some more and then I'll add some more if I need to, okay? So you see that beautiful yellow golden color that's going to turmeric. Now here I have 13.5 um, ounce canned coconut milk and it's heavy so I'm going to stir it because it kind of separates sometimes. I'm going to stir it and then just pour it in there. And that's just how simple this dish is. Got a lot of ingredients. See that beautiful yellow color? Look at that. And then I'm just going to let it simmer down. I'm going to cover it up, let it cook for uh, 15 or 20 minutes, and come and check. Like I showed you, you check with, uh, with um, pressing the pea, the, the, the chickpeas to see if they're good. Now, for canned, for canned beans, they're a little bit, they cook faster than soaking them, like the, the, the ones that you just get in a pack. So these cook faster, that's why I like them. So it might take even less than um, 
20 minutes to cook but we'll be back so you can see the finished product and I'm gonna uh, show you how this looks plated with some Mohammed's which is a kind of donut and that combined together we eat sometimes in Kenya as a bre breakfast food so come back don't be too long so we can wrap this up okay we'll see you in a little bit welcome back to Stella's Meza before the break we're cooking up the Mbazi which are chickpeas that are cooked in a coconut curry stew and I went ahead and let it simmer on medium heat for 20 minutes and I didn't even have to wait that long actually because these cook up pretty quick the canned variety and I want you to take a look at that's what it looks like okay see that nice and creamy that beautiful golden yellow color is because of turmeric and it smells so good I just want to dig in okay so that's how we eat it you take the Mahamri which I showed in a different video and go ahead and I use my hand okay that's how we do it at home so I'm gonna do it here too it's piping hot just right fresh off the stove and you go ahead and grab a chickpea and dip it in some of that sauce if I burn myself don't laugh that's because I love you all that's why I'm doing this Ooh. that combination is fantastic we have that there's a little bit of kick in the um, chickpeas because of the cayenne pepper that I put in there. You taste the coconut, you taste the um, garam masala in there, and the peas are nice and they're not hard. They're a little bit, there's a little bit of a crumble in there, but really buttery. And it's delicious and it's very nutritious, full of protein. So don't be afraid to try that, okay? And I hope you do. And I really, I want to tell you something. I really appreciate each and every one of you who takes the time out of their busy day to watch my videos. I really appreciate that. And I love you for that. So keep coming back and I'll keep putting up new videos. If you have any questions, if you have any suggestions or uh, requests, I'll go ahead and find out how to make it for you if I don't already know how to make it. And I'll go ahead and put it on there for you. So keep joining me every week as I take your taste buds on a culinary safari. Thank you and karibu.